Hello, Forever Family. Until then, keep focus on what matters most for you. Well, hello, Forever Family, and welcome to our May episode of Forever Matters. I'm Nick Woodward Shaw, and I'm excited to celebrate and recognize many of our amazing FBOs. I'm also sharing some updates about the great work that the Rex Morn Forever Giving Foundation has done, and much, much more in this month's episode. So EMR Rock the Boat is coming up pretty soon and qualifications ended last month and I am so excited to say that we had an increase of more than 30% this year as a result of all your amazing hard work. That equates to 230 more Eagle managers than last year. That's incredible and we can't wait to see everybody aboard when we sail across the Adriatic Sea from Italy to Croatia and back in September. Moving to North America, we had a success day and it was a huge hit with over 300 leaders in attendance right here at the home office and in a nearby resort in Scottsdale. FBOs enjoyed lots of training, recognition and a fun dinner followed by karaoke, which seems to be becoming a bit of a forever tradition these days. Down in forever Southern Africa, they just had their very first Supervisor Soar to Eagle convention to help supervisors unlock their path to the Eagle Manager status. Supervisors had the opportunity to get the skills, tools and training to successfully build and manage a team and to learn from the best while receiving hands-on training that will transform their businesses. Down south in Brazil, more than 150 qualifiers took part in an incentive cruise. During the cruise, there was fun parties with that unique Brazilian flair, as well as recognition, exciting stories, and training meetings that brought together the FBOs. It looks like they had great fun. In April, our South Slavic region had a success day that brought out more than 1,300 FBOs from Serbia and the surrounding countries. Together, they celebrated many regional and global recognitions, as well as new managers and plenty of training to set them up for a successful second half of 2024. Heading southeast now, Iraq held their 14th success day meeting this April with 500 people from all over the country. During this meeting, we recognized their global rally and chairman's bonus qualifiers, as well as the most successful FBOs from last year. It was another forever event that was full of motivation and excitement for the future. And now let's check in with my good friend Sierra Morn for an update on the Rex Morn Forever Giving Foundation. Hi everybody, it's Sierra with Forever Giving. As many of you know, earlier this month, devastating flooding hit southern Brazil with hundreds of thousands of people being displaced from their homes, many of them losing everything that they own. We are mobilizing an emergency donation to Brazil Foundation, a nonprofit that is helping to fund the distribution of emergency supplies and rescue operations to those who are affected. This fund will also help with rebuilding efforts in the area. In addition, products donations are being shipped to the area for families who have been displaced. Our emergency response is made possible by the generous donations that we receive through forevergiving.org. Even giving just $5 a month gives us the ability to provide rapid and effective aid when natural disasters strike. Thank you so much to everybody who has contributed to us being able to give a little bit of hope to Brazil. Together, we can truly make a difference. Up next, we have some new Sapphire managers to celebrate. Congratulations to Farbad, Farhad, Babayan, Gamsari from UAE, Michiko Katsuki from the USA, and Walid Khalid Kalaf from Iraq. Up next, we're going to celebrate the top 10 FBOs for global case credits. Coming in at number 10, congratulations to Monica Walkowicz. Number nine, Chicago Oshima. Coming in at number eight, we have Joel and Andre Bonifoy Poli. At number seven, we have Krishna Aurora. At number six, we have Nobile and Percy Meseleku. Coming in at number five, we have Miho Sugihara. Number four, Marina and Theodore Karnat. Number three, Rolf and Dominique Kip. Number two, Etsuku Mototsuji. 
And coming in at number one, we have Honami and Koken Tagagi. Up next, we're gonna congratulate our top 10 FBOs for open CCs. Coming in at number 10, we have Yoko Sasaki. At number nine, we have Rina Seki. Number eight, we have Tomoko and Hidetaki Kobayashi. At number seven, Chi Tat Lam. Coming in at number six, we have Maria Fabiola Casto. At number five, we have Melody Chang. Number four, we have Mizuho Arita. Coming in at number three, we have Buyan Setseg Biyamba Job. Number two, Marina and Theodore Karnat. And at number one, we have Honami and Koken Tagagi. Congratulations to everyone. Hi, I'm Gary Shreve, Executive Vice President of Global Operations, here to share with you some of the things that are happening around the world in regards to products. Our Hero products are getting a new look starting this summer. As announced at Global Rally, the one liter gel bottles will be updated to the new PET bottle, which is made with over 50% post-consumer recyclable material, or PCR, and is 100% recyclable. Plus, it's a great, sleek new look for some of our most beloved products. Be on the lookout for those that will start rolling out in your markets soon. Also at Global Rally, we shared that Forever's aloe vera plants grown in the Dominican Republic and the aloe vera gel extracted from them now have USDA and EU organic certifications. These esteemed designations align with our efforts to continue to prioritize sustainability in our product offerings and are a result of following US and EU agricultural production guidelines respectively that foster environmental responsibility. As part of Forever's commitment in achieving these certifications in the Dominican Republic, Forever has nearly 3,000 goats that tend to our aloe fields, eating unwanted weeds while providing over 6 million pounds of natural fertilizer per year. That's a lot of natural fertilizer. These goats prevent the use of using synthetic herbicides and fertilizers. Beyond that, the goats reduce the amount of fuel needed to power landscaping equipment. Additionally, all the water used to clean and wash Forever's aloe vera is recycled back into the aloe fields to help conserve water. And after the harvest, the outer leaves of the aloe vera plant are added back into the soil to enrich the land for generations to come. That does it for this episode of Forever Matters. Until next time, don't forget what matters most to you.